Think you can take care of these mines, Lieutenant? <laughs> Unless I'm looking at it funny, I should be able to set off a chain reaction blow on those things space high. Oh, that's Mac. I don't know. That's not Mac's voice. Get it done, Lieutenant. <laughs> I was still talking Vaughn's language over here with his voice. Done, sir. The mines have ceased to be mines. Nothing. What is up, my pylons? It's me, Gamer, Gamer Pile, and I am back with another episode of Crying Sons. This is my first look, and I'm really excited about it. We are on Chapter 2, Fallible Flesh. And we're going to do Sector 3 today, which is really cool. We should get to the big boss, uh, whatever it is, Cardinal, Bishop, Pope. I don't, I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Some member of the church that's going to be our big boss. And then hopefully we'll be able to even check out our third chapter, which is kind of neat. Before we get started, though, I want to make sure that I say thank you to all of our subscribers who have subscribed recently. Our newest pylons, you include... Hi, my name is Dagan. Video Game Trip Games for Kids, Maria Carlson. A Vietnamese name that I can't pronounce. Uh, I'm going to give my best shot. So, Ko Hai Tri Hien. I'm really sorry if I got that wrong. Oh, you know, I'll bet the accents probably tell you to modulate the vowel, vowel a little bit, your pitch on the vowel. So, Ko Hai Tri, tri Hien. I don't know. It could be something like that. And Surprise Hunters. That one's an easy one for me to say because it's in the language I speak. So, I'm sorry I mispronounced your name. Anyway, uh, I have my handy dandy drink right here. Handy Drandy. And I have I have my handy brandy, that's what I wish. And I have a handy dandy notebook right over here to write down my notes, but most importantly, I have you. And if you haven't yet, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe down below, especially that subscribe button, but like, leave a comment, let me know you're here. Uh, these are the kinds of things that make me be able to do what I want to do. Let's go. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna continue our game, sector three of three. Oh, that's a cool shape right there. Oh, that's what it looks like when you're going through at the end. Okay, so we have we have no Neo N left. Golly, last time. That power creep got to us. Boy, last time did it get to us. We do have a couple of pretty cool ones that we're going to have to fix. Uh, but we have no Neo N. So we're going to uh, visit the shop here. Uh, what, what, what does this mean? Open the star map and refuel. What does that do? Wait and refuel. What does that mean? Oh, I'll bet if we waited here one day, one time it would work. I don't want to do that, though. I'm pretty sure I can get Neo in here. Oh, yes. We can buy four. So we're going to buy four of those. Get all that. We got 17 commandos. I need to repair this. This is a priority. So we're going to be repairing all of our... Wait, how come I... Oh, could I only repair three? Oh, well, I'm glad I repaired those three and saved just the Mark One, you know, cruiser there. Uh, and I do want to buy... Uh, have some... Oh, I guess I, I didn't need quite that much. Buy some of those commandos. I have four people here four um uh, officers there so ships weapons any of them and weapons i currently have her here with a reload time so heat sustained by systems from battleship weapons is multiply uh 1.5 times uh and let's look at the upgrades how much is it for another squadron dock 450 i'm short of course i am of course I'm six short to get one more squadron. That's a pain in the butt. What about this? What do I have for weapons over here? Oh, I do have a couple other weapons. Invisibility shield. Executioner. Oh, yeah. See, that's a good one. Maybe that's what I want to do. I'm going to get another weapon. Oh, additional weapon. Dog. Only 90. So there you go. It, and I could actually afford to put her in there, too. What if I try that? Uh, let's see. Hull integrity support versus add officer-based assistance oh, to your hull. And the heat, heat capacitor. Oh, that's how much heat you can sustain before your whole thing goes down. Um, we're going to hold off here for now and put that executioner laser in. This one's the plasma nuke. That drops a bomb. <laughs> this one is the one that I use to attack. This one is good on a ship. Okay. And then I really would like to get more. So I think we're going to save that when we get 100 more uh, credits. We'll do that. Okay, let's now go to... Let's just make sure there's nothing here I could do... I like, I like my auxiliary systems. That's right. We have 30% faster recharge on uh, squadrons. Corks cooling system. Weapon reload time minus five percent Yeah. So these things, those are the ones. Yeah, that, that's definitely good. I think we're in a pretty good spot now. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here. Wow. A couple of ground signals in each direction. I see some anomalies here. Those are always kind of fun to do. 
Omniforge, points of interest. Okay, so that's five. So we're not going to go to the ones that have a huge amount because we are so low on Neo N. But three, three. Let's go ahead and let's go up to Gatrix. Gatri, as the French would say. Oh, wee wee. Ooh, it's pretty with its red star. Okay, what do we got here? Picking up a weak distress transmission without escape pod. Oh, if you're getting this, I need your help. My pod's engine is conked out, and now I'm on a high velocity collision course with the ship eater. What's a ship eater? Get me in touch with that pod, Lieutenant. You received my transmission? Yes, and we're going to try to help you, but I have to ask, what do you mean by ship eater? There's a powerful gravitational singularity not far from here. Ship eater is just how it's known informally because, you know, it swallowed many ships. I was assisting a group of Omnis studying it. I think they were interested in harvesting its energy. Anyway, when they collapsed, I nearly went crazy living on my own for so long, So, but somehow managed to survive at our research station until my food ran out, that is. That's when I jumped in this escape pod with its old engine. I was in here for about a day when the engine failed me, and, well, you know the rest. I'm really hoping this is an officer. I'd love to get a fifth officer on here, on board. I hate that this one stares at me. That's just really creepy. How can we help you? In short, get me off this pod. A skilled pilot, if they used their thrusters precisely, could stabilize the rescue pod without me pulling out of the field. Sir, if we could enhance our short-range tractor beam, it could be enough to pull the pod away from the singularity and towards the ship, but it will require us using some scrap. And even then, there's no guarantee it'll work. Now, I got a specialist for this, boy. Whenever this one shows up, I've noticed, it tends to do pretty well. So, I like that. Can I count on you to get close enough to that pod to extract that passenger? Absolutely, sir. I've trained for missions like these countless times in our simulators. Mostly with success. Get it done, Lieutenant. We're counting on you. I love that sound. <laughs> okay, here we go. Not sure I would have used the same approach angle, to be honest, but your pilot pulled it off. Okay, that's good. Can't thank you enough for saving me. You know, I'm pretty skilled in my domain. If you'd help me, I'd gladly turn your ship. What's your domain? Oh, Min Jun Mohammed. Okay. Okay. Uh, patch squadrons, short range DPS, plus 35% against non patched units. So if I do sustain a lot of damage, I'll throw him in there instead of Mac, or maybe I'll keep both of them in there. Oh, if I kept both of them? Oh, dude. Together they work really well, because th doesn't this make uh, one crafted drone? I think that starts as, um, as, as patched. If it does, that would be really cool to use that with the guerrilla tactics. Okay, let's scavenge for Neo N. Ah, oh, thank goodness. We need. We definitely needed the two. All right, now we're gonna go to the other place here. Mercenary outpost. Oh, so much for saving. We said we we're gonna save all of our, all of our credits. We'll see our scrap. Incoming transmission. An imperial battleship. Well, since you're here, maybe you can help us with a problem. A very serious problem. What kind of problem? It's our colony's birth rate, sir. Frankly, we're having too many babies. Too many babies. Why is this problem? Of course, it's a problem because they don't have any food. <laughs> See, I told you. How can we help your colony, Governor? How can we help you, our ship, help you with the stuff? As you probably remember, the Omnis controlled the population before the shutdown, implementing a tech that pre prevented 99% of the population from conceiving. Yeah. I'm one of those people that, I don't, I don't like that. The shutdown happened, everyone here is getting pregnant. The opposite. We have old birth tech here, hundreds of years that we can't get to work. We needed some scrap and possibly a good engineer. Okay. We can send a specialist, probably. You wanted to see me, sir? Know anything about old birth control? Uh-oh. This could be a problem. If this ends up being a bad thing and he dies, I really like him. Pre-Omnitech positive, I can figure it out. Pretty positive. <laughs> oh, gosh. It tends to be a higher success rate, though, when you've got it. Okay, good. He did it. All right. Thank you, Admiral. This tech should help us right the ship, so to speak. You saved hundreds, if not thousands, of lives today. Here, please accept this Neo N on my colony's behalf. We should do better. On transmission. All right, we got three Neo N. Well, now we're swimming in Neo N. My goodness. I was kind of hoping that we would get other stuff. Okay, two, two. I'm just checking to make sure that there's no one there. So this person and this person double up on skills. I don't need another pilot because I've got... Oh, well, I guess I, there, he was the only one. What's this here? What do these mean, I wonder? Oh, that's the, the proximity events. Two DPS to enemies adjacent to your battle. Oh, that's pretty cool. Tesla field. No, I want, I'm want. i trying to find things that attack the battleship hull. Oh, that's such a cool looking... 
uh, attack pattern. All right, so I guess there's not going to be anything we're going to get here. We have plenty of commandos for now, so it's all good. All right, let's go to the star map. Let's move on, pushing forward. We're going to go down here to Betton. Because I think I want to take, this, take the straight path over. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling that today. I'm feeling that today. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all having a good day today. We're about to fight a scrapper. Incoming message. Uh-oh, maybe we don't get to fight the scrapper. Doesn't he look... Oh, he does look like a scrapper, doesn't he? There's a lot of similarities there. How am I be damaged? I have Imperial Slaves trying to thing and everyone dies. I am thinking of kidding. See for yourself. Uh, he means it, Admiral. Trying to thing and we'll all die. Yeah, but he could die otherwise. Um, have a specialist officer talk to the captain into releasing the slaves. I love having all of these, um, hero. Go, hero. I may have a moment of your time. Who are you? The real question is, who are you? And I think I know the answer. How dare you presume to know me, Oberon lover? Oh, are you not a man with a taste for the finer things? Well, well, yes, I am. I'm flattered you noticed, actually. But you're having a hard time maintaining your preferred way of life, aren't you? Work's been a real constraint. I, I just thought owning slaves would be so easy. You know, all my friends have slaves, but it's actually a lot of work. Well, as luck would have it, Captain, I come today to you with a solution. <laughs> Go on, Vermin, I'm listening. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> what a great dialogue. <laughs> Scrappers agreed to free his slaves. Luckily for us, some have combat experience. Wish to join our cause. Find them in our core. We got five commandos. Now that the slaves are safe and sound, Admiral, it could be an excellent time to attack. Yeah, we're going to do that again. Time to do a little scrapper hunting. I love some scrapper hunting. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I feel bad about attacking him after he, you know, we tricked him into giving us the slaves, but at the same time. All right, so he's got all drones here. All drones, good versus frigates, but my fighters are good against drones. We're going to send the shredder. We're going to send in the... Is it the... Let's see. Which one does the... the send in this one and then we're going to take away... Those nanos go really fast though. I do like the nanos. But I want to send in a fighter. I've got this Mark II fighter ghost we'll set in. He can go right there. I'm going to send the impaler there and then our shredder can go right in the middle. That'll do. I'm going to send the fighter hopefully up to here. They're probably going to reach there first. My shredders will go here, wait for them to pass me, or my, for me to attack them, and that's gonna, that'll be good. Do I, wait, do I have to do these? No, those aren't. Yeah, okay, we're good. So you go there, and you go there. Let's see if we can get there first. Okay, okay. No, it's not gonna happen. Mm, we gotta go down here, because that's where he's gonna try and go. Okay. Oh wait, now we're gonna come down here and try and do this. I'm taking some damage over here, holy cow. Oh my gosh, I just lost my squadron. I I did, no, I did bad, this was not good. This was bad, this was bad. Let's take out, they don't have any weapons, so we'll take out their squadron. Okay. Oh my gosh, oh wait, no, now I'm noticing. He is... You gotta attack him, man. Can you attack him? Oh my gosh. Whoa! How did that happen? Did I do that? Alright, so this does one of these things. So we're gonna try and take out... Where is that? Right there? Oh, can I do it over here instead so I don't take out that... No, I don't. I can't. Darn it. Okay, we're gonna have to just take out that. Oh, look at that thing. That was incredible. Okay, oh my gosh, this is almost dead. We're, we did bad. We did bad and we should feel bad. I know I feel bad. Boom, okay, so we got that guy. Okay, so we, oh my gosh. We got a frigate, that's pretty good, but we wrecked our Mark II ghost and that's our best fighter, so. I have too many squadrons. I gotta get rid of them. Which one's the patched cruiser, this guy? Oh, I didn't know I couldn't have more. That's funny. Okay, so let's throw in, look at, uh, let's see, Juggernaut, Mark III Juggernaut. Cannot be altered by positive or negative effects, nice. Uh, 100 damage to the energy enemy battleship without heat. Instantly destroyed, it's any asteroid when moving onto its cell. Wow, 100 damage. Cancel, not be adjacent, okay. Well, that's fancy. So we've got a couple of things that are going to try and go right up there and take, ooh. 
Well, that was fancy. Okay, so I got to find somewhere, though, that I can hopefully repair that squadron, because that's going to be a problem. What do we got here? Anomaly. Thank the machines are here. Wait, isn't this the same one as before? Oh, my gosh. We got some Stepford li Wife level stuff here. I'm trying to... The ship is trying to siphon Neo N off our station. Second incoming transmission. Okay, we're going to have to play judge and advocate here. Don't believe a word she says. I saw they were low on fuel, so I was trying to give them some of mine is all. I know the Omni shut down, but we still have to be kind to another, can't we? I wonder what this guy is worse at, telling the truth or stealing Neo N. Um, let's just try this first. This is Admiral Idaho of the NS Odysseus. Stop, civilian, or I'll make you stop. Admiral Idaho, I must be hearing things. All the dark would do that to you. Just mind your business, pal. This has nothing to do with you or your, nor your ship. Well, that didn't work. Captain, go get our friend and put him on the brig. That should sober him up. Aye, aye, sir. So put him in the brig. He's quite a little setup in the ship. Guys are making Neo one rot gut. Oh, gosh. Who said science is dying? Goes by the name of Vond. Is it Dames Vond? For his worth, says he met you once. Most likely he's never met the original me, but I'll pay him a visit nevertheless. I'm interested in what he has to say. I wouldn't believe a word that he says. Oh, that's right. I wouldn't believe a word that he says, Admiral. He's clearly unstable. I'll keep that in mind, machine. I don't like that he calls it a machine. It's just going to anger him. In the brig of the NS Odysseus. Oh, cool. Cutscene. Cutscene. I, I don't believe it. It is you, Admiral Idaho, as I live and breathe. And why wouldn't it be? Because you died. Or so I believed until now. Ask how he knows me. My captain tells me we met once. You wouldn't remember me, Admiral. I wasn't highly ranked. You were in the fleet? Yes, many years ago, the first fleet. I was discharged. Always had a problem with the drink. Ensign Vond, I flew on the Hyperion too. Man, that was a long time ago. I have a sneaking suspicion you have other questions too. And tell me, why is it you believe me dead? But surely you've heard the story yourself, Admiral. The story? Yes, but I'd like to hear your version. There are so many. Well, on Ganema, a planet in the house, Kosh Buendia sectors, there once existed a group of people called the Survivalists. As incomprehensible as that is, these people believe the Empire would be better off without the Omnis. Crazy talk, I know. I mean, I don't worship the things, but the idea that we'd be better off without them is just plain wrong. After years of abuse at the ha hands of House Kosh Buendia, their numbers down to only a few thousand. They knew they had to fight back or be wiped off the stars. So after years of secretly amassing weapons and resources, they rebelled one day 26 years ago, six years before the shutdown. House Kosh Bandia never saw it coming. After quickly overwhelming local troops and destroying local omnis who, limited by their Rubicon, were unable to defend themselves, they shut down the local folder. Oberon, rightly fearing these terrorists, fearing they might attack one other planets, sent you and Vice Admiral Okonkwo to squash the rebellion and protect the subjects. But because the folder was down, it took you and your battleship five years to reach Genima from Elysium. By the time you arrived, the survivalists were ready for you. More than ready. They had turned Genima into a veritable war machine. You asked for their surrender, but it was useless. They weren't going to back they weren't going back to the way that things were before. To their way of thinking, they were finally free. They had finally secured a future for themselves. You and Onkonkwo attacked, but soon discovered the few ships were outmatched by theirs. Then, Admiral, you made the ultimate sacrifice. You offered the other ships to stockpile their makers of darkness, Telos nukes, on a single ship. Your ship. Arconquo begged you not to do it, but you knew it had to be done. For Oberon, for the good of the Empire. And alone, you crashed your ship into Ganyma, setting off an immense chain reaction, vitrifying those terrorists and saving the Empire at the same time. The rebellion had been put down, but not without a cost. Back home in Elysium, your death was mourned by hundreds of thousands, and Oberon, with the eyes of the Empire upon you, upon him, proclaimed you the greatest hero the Empire had ever known. But now, now I know it's all untrue. You didn't die. You survived Ganyma. But why, Admiral? Why are we told that story in the first place? Ooh. Do I want to lie to this guy, or do I want to... You know what? I'm gonna, we're going to go with the truth here. I feel like I'm trying to work on a connection with him, and maybe he'll give me some more information. To be honest, this is the... It's fine, Admiral. I don't expect you to tell me what really happened. How could you? It's kind of above my pay grade. I'm no longer even a member of the fleet. Sometimes I wish I still was, though. Sometimes I wish I was still fighting for all that's good, all that remains, but no offense, I don't think the fleet, not even with the greatest admiral of all time leading it, can save us now. I believe these truly are our final days. Um... Well, I don't know if I need to fight the survivors. i talk about the survivors. They're all gone. Tell me more about this house, though. Next to House Telos, they're probably the most powerful house in all the Empire. That or House Akabara Sung. 
The cautious have existed since the beginning, but it seems they never had enough power. Not for their taste, anyway. Their abhorrence for the old man was no secret. After all, he's had them and House A.S. under his thumb for centuries. There are rumors the Kashas have made several attempts on his life throughout the decades, though nothing's ever been proven. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me one bit if House KB had something to do with the shutdown. You got other questions, don't you? I already asked about that. What about Akibara Sung? Tell me more about House Akibara Sung. Those Akis, just like the Kashas, have wanted Oberon out of the picture for decades. They have always wanted the old man for having more power than them. Even the Empire might be theirs, if not for Oberon. You can see how they might ride those gene mods the wrong way. I've always thought that maybe they played a part, a large part even, in the shutdown. Those money grabbers wielded a tremendous amount of power. They still probably do for that matter. No, you definitely can't rule them out as suspects. They've always thought they're so much better than the rest of us, haven't they? You got other questions? Yeah, I'm good. It's probably going to tell me this rivals could possibly also have shut them down. I have no more questions at this time. I have a sneaking suspicion you have other questions, too. <laughs> That's funny just how that ended up working out with <laughs> I have no questions. So you got some other questions. <laughs> what do you know about Vice Admiral Conquo? I'm laughing. I'm causing myself to laugh. I'm thinking I'm so funny. I'm actually, like, choking on my own laughter here couple stories about him. One is that he was your best friend. Your right-hand man always has been since the days of the Academy together. And the other is that he was very jealous of you. It's said you were always Oberon's favorite. Or it's said. The Golden One. Chosen to lead the Empire if Oberon never stepped down and that Okonkwo lived in your shadow and resented you for that. Me, I don't know which story to believe. Then again, I'm not much front for gossip. Gossip, know what I mean? Oh, clearly. What I like to do instead is get drunk and hit up the space casinos. Now that's a good time. Anyway, knowing Vice Admiral Okonkwo as you do... Only you know the truth there, Admiral. Right. Only I know the truth there. I have a sneaking suspicion you have other questions. We're done. We're done here. I'll keep it for you. Wow. Very magnanimous of me. Thank you, Admiral. That's kind of you, but uh, uh, you mind if I say something before I go? One thing kind of strikes me funny when I think back to the time I met you. And what's that? You haven't aged one bit. How could that be? That's just the darkness in here, Vaughn. It plays tricks on the mind. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> All right, let's see here. That was a that was a heck of a encountered anomaly, main mission anomaly. Oh, that's why. Okay, and I think that was the only it. So the only it. Where are we going? We have two anomalies down here. We have a ground signal here, a secret military base, and a shipyard. Ah, oh, yeah, we're going to the shipyard. We're gonna so we're gonna go here. I want to get to that shipyard. Shipyard, because I want to make sure that I can repair the other thing. I might, I might sell one of my things too. Thought I might as well ask. I need hyperventilator 23 to make a generator go. Got any chance? You got some scrap around here to pay you with somewhere. Chief here, sir, listening in. We don't have a 23 in our stock, but we could break a bird down and get that, get it that way. Our random squadron will become patched. We're in. We're, yeah, okay, but that's okay because we're literally in a. Uh, a, a system that has a yeah we're gonna do it let's give them the station with you. hopefully they got it they, hopefully they didn't use it. okay good okay good a mark one fighter I mean I think that was my only other fighter but at least it's better than than one of my mark threes or fours so that's good you're a generally good guy aren't you uh oh uh oh guess she forgot about looking for the scrap yeah she forgot you gotta be kidding me I'm just too nice a guy darn it Darn it. I just got duped out here in the, in the middle of nowhere. All right. Oh, do I have to fight someone else? Aki. I'll cut right to the chase. I don't like Imperials. I never have. I never will. You're all just so mediocre. Prepare to fight. Oh, no. Here, me with my patch things. All right, so they're all fighters. So I need to get rid of my drones and put in... Oh, where's that? Okay, so I got the frigate, a uh, frigate Magneto. What does that do? All enemy units able to target this unit are forced to do so, and all adjacent enemies cannot move. Oh yeah, I remember that guy. And then a protector. Add one absorb shield to each adjacent friendly unit. Okay, and then we have a cruiser. Uh, Mark two protector. Okay, that's gonna be fine. So we're gonna set you here. And set you back there. We're gonna set you. Right there. 
All right, and hopefully we'll be able to like do something. Okay, so that's that's a clear space that I could go through. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. He's gonna probably drop them all right now. He does have a weapon. High energy beam too. No effect on field unit. Definitely gets me in the ship. Uh, the Juggernaut. Man, this guy. We want to get him going around. So I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna do this. And this guy's gonna come this way. Oh no! Whoa! What just what happened? That was fast. What did he do? Or did I shoot him? Who shot who? Somebody shot somebody. I still have all my hull here, but it's, it, I don't know what just happened. What? What happened? He just hit my. But he, did he? Oh, you got a whole the hull thing. No, I I had three already. I only had three. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. But I still don't know what just happened. Um, I guess I gotta go back here. If I can get there first, he has to attack me and I can stop. This guy's gonna go here. Uh oh. We're gonna go here. You gotta go in here now. Whoa! What just happened? Stay here. And attack him. You're gonna go. Let's go. I can't even. He's about to die. He's about to die. Help him out. Oh, all my weapons. What am I doing? Drop the nuke on this guy. Why haven't I done that? Oh no, don't. Yeah, we'll do that and then we'll wait for the next one for this guy. Oh, did I do that? I think I just blew up my own guy. Ah! I'm trying to... I don't want to fire the weapon. Oh my gosh. I can't do anything. What is going on? Okay, get out of my way. Go. Please go. Okay, so now I'm going to try and send you over to there. See if I can't do something about that. You just stay here and attack. Wow, I can't believe I forgot my own darn weaponry. This takes this thing forever to get here. Holy God. Okay, which weapon is this one? Go for the hull before he gets here. Um, can I get it right there? Yeah, I can. Oh, I just took him down. That's pretty good. That's about to die. Oh no! I might I got some heat going here. Oh look at him drill into it. That is intense. I can't believe that just happened. That was awesome. A chain reaction cannon. What does that do? Holy cow. Okay, so this is getting to be a bit of a problem. We're running a little out here. I'm running, running a little out. <laughs> it's not even English. Alright, let's see. Maybe I'll put that there instead of that. What does this do? Um Oh, it's a level three too. No effects on battleship hull. Thirty damage on a Jumps through adjacent units. Oh, that's cool. So if they get all bunched up. Um, I got my piercer. I'm going to keep the executioner, I guess. And we're going to put that in here, I think. All right. And then, ugh. Ah, look at this. Oh, we're at a shipyard, though. So I can put whatever one I want into into there. Um, yeah, let's do this. I want to put that drone in. That guy. All right, visiting the shop. Let's go ahead. We got some good stuff. We ended up selling a couple of our Mark I squadrons, and we did buy a Mark IV Shredder drone, which is pretty cool. Smack dab in the middle of a Cus minefield. Kosh Buendia hunting tech. Oh, this is going to be a problem. A few options. We risk a half jump through firing up the drive, though firing up could set up all the mines. Two, we move slowly through the metal. No doubt suffering minimal hull damage if we do, or if we have one, use a special stop to get us out of this mess. Your call, sir. Um, let's... Oh, okay. we have two choices. That's pretty cool. Let's uh, let's ask a specialist, a pilot, to get us out of here. Or maybe we'll just blow up the mines. Let's blow up the mines. <laughs> Think you can take care of these mines, Lieutenant? <laughs> Unless I'm looking at it funny. I should be able to set off a chain reaction blowing those things space high. Oh, that's Mac. I don't know. That's not Mac's voice. Get it done, Lieutenant. <laughs> I was still talking Vaughn's language over here with his voice. Done, sir. The mines have ceased to be mines. Nothing but scrap now. Our scrap. Sweet! We got 30 scrap out of that bad boy. 
Oh, yeah, there's my Mark IV Shredder. Man, that's pretty sweet. All right, so I think that's it. A negative outcome. We had... Well, I guess it was a negative outcome, but we had a way to beat it, so I guess that's all right. Hey, there's an Omni Forge here. I didn't even notice that. We can kick up the level of one of our uh, things. Oh, God, we need some Neo N, though. Maybe we can kick up the level of the Impaler Cruiser. Should be great with no escort. Escort. Let's go ahead and try it. Form, form a team. Get your birds out there, Captain Lynch. Still call them birds, even though they've never been on a planet before. The door has been blasted away from the crate, and there are omni functional omnis coming out of it. Did the captain say what I think she said? Sorry, false alarm. It was just the way they were floating out of the crate. It looked like they were, you know. Bring the omnis back to the hangar. Right away, sir. Oh, well, I got 73 scrap out of it, so that's pretty sweet. Let's go for two. That is not two. That's only one. That's only one. Okay. All right, so we've got the local system here. We're going to go here first and then go to the Omni Forge afterwards, and hopefully hopefully we can get just one UN. We might not be able to do anything at all. Oh, let's just go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and we're going to send this the the Neo N because I know I'm going to need that for the Omni Forge. I think that's what I have to use. I don't think it's scrap. I think it's Neo N. So if I can get even one out of there, that would be good. The plan went off without a hitch. Had to waste few pirates. Not even their mothers would cry. Five Neo N out of that. That was a brilliant, brilliant move. And now we're going to go to the Omni Forge. I'm so glad I did that first. I, after I clicked go to that second sector or second, um, whatever, planet or whatever they are, I really thought I was I had just wasted an EON that I was should, would have been able to use the Omni Forge. Scrapper and a Kosh Minefield. Looks like it got the best of it, too. Anyway, your birds can scrap that ship, Captain. In those mines, it's risky. Good damage our birds. Pretty good. You feel like taking that, rolling that dice, sir? What would I lose? Oh, I might lose. I might lose like an actual. And I'm going into the. Oh gosh. Nah, we're we're not gonna bother. We might need scrap, but this isn't worth the risk. Okay, let's visit the Omni Forge. I'm very excited about this. What are we gonna do today? We have six Neo N that we can play around with. Six available upgrades. Let's see. Six. What does this do? Does it make it go faster? Because I definitely would like it to go faster. It is really slow. Nope. Doesn't affect the speed at all. Range damage. Um, let's go with... I want to upgrade my, my ghost. I want to upgrade... Um, where's the, the impaler, right? I think that's gonna, that'll do it. Those will be the only ones I can do. But that doesn't do any additional damage, does it? Oh, 20 damage no matter what. So we're going to go ahead with that, I think. Let me just Before I do that, let me just double check if there's nothing else there. So Mark III Ghost. I could do the Nano. I have a Mark II Nano drone already, though. So, or Mark III already, so I don't need to do that. The Mark III Magneto would probably be nice. Probably. I won't use the Protector at all, So uh, probably. So there's no kind of no point to that one. Mark... I could make that a Mark IV, or I could make the Impaler. I use the Impaler probably more, so, or, okay, wait, but if I do use the Mark IV Nano, but what if they have, I don't know what the next one's going to have, and I know I'll be able to use this either way, so we're going to go with this one. Okay, that works. Mark IV. That's pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. I am like, hmm, yeah. Let's go. All right, it's time, folks. We got the Cluster Boss. Cluster boss. Cluster boss. Here we go. Oh, and look, there it is. There's the uh, folder. Xenon's battleship. At last, Admiral. I've heard so much about you and your battleship. Sorry my cardinals couldn't be more hospitable. I assure you that we take manners very seriously in the church. Which is why, before I kill you, I'm going to say a prayer for you. Put in a good word for wherever it is you're headed. An Imperial Admiral, you might be in for a nasty little surprise. You've proven yourself an enemy of the Empire, Xenon. Surrender, or I have no chance but to destroy you. Surrender? A Pope doesn't surrender. That would be unholy. 
Let's get down to business. I have a sermon I want to wrap up. One on how I bravely smashed an imperial battleship. Well, that didn't take long. I hope I don't... I'm not even going to remember that voice, let's be honest. Okay, so is this going to be my best one? Mark III Nano. I've got a Shredder. What has he got here? Let's check that first. So, versus Fighters. Oh, look at that. Okay, so Longbow can deal damage up to three tiles away, but they take more damage at short range. And this is great because I want to use my I want to use my uh, drones. So we're gonna do this. Set you here. Set you here. Put the imp put the impaler back here, right? That's what it is. The impaler. All right, that's gonna be good on those. Whoa! They've got four weapons, and this one's already started halfway through. Engine disruptor. Moving speed of targets minus sixty percent, of course. An executioner. Hellbreaker. Oh gosh. There's no heat, but 40 damage. We're going to have to take out those weapons. We're going to take out those weapons, folks. That's our first job. You're going here. You're going here. i got to tie them up before they get too far away. There we go. Take, getting, getting a good thing. Going. This is the one. Oh, it, it just does. Okay, so now we're going to... Oh, wait. But I want it on the weapon. And you know what? I should probably go help him over here before we lose too much more. There we go. There we go. Go there. Go there. There we are. Okay. So that's that. Now, they're all down on speed, but I'm going to go ahead and attack here. There it is. Good job. Good job. Good job. Keep going. They have four levels of, of health here. <laughs> that's funny. I still want you to go attack him. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, so chain reaction. I'm not going to get a whole lot anyway. Why don't we go ahead and do the executioner then? And then these guys can go attack the weapons again. And then, oh, I, should, I can do the chain with this guy here. It's not going to go through a whole lot, but at the very least, at the very least, it'll be able to do some attacking here. Oh, no. Oh, they're almost done. <laughs> oh, no, they're almost done. I have this, which can attack you. Can you, can you just go? Do some attacking. Oh no, that was, that was a lot of, ouch. That was a lot of ouch. Go get him. Go get him. Drone Mark II Nano. Take him down, boy. Okay, there we go. Ooh, dang. That one hurt. I need to move you up because there's nothing else there to protect you now. Oh, it can, it can heal? It can heal? Okay, so 35. How much does this do? 35 damage. Get you right now. So that one's done. They're able to craft them. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. I can't believe I forgot. Let's get the ghost in there. And then this guy right here, we're going to get in. Should we do the Juggernaut or should we do the Crafted Ones? Um, yeah, we're going to do the Juggernaut. Let's go. Juggernaut right there. Ghost right there. All right, the Ghost. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, wait. That's a drone. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to take out some stuff here. Oh, snap. It's going to go super slow now. And Chain Reaction Gun is going to go through all three of them. Look at that. That was gorgeous. That was gorgeous. Let's go further away. What is just a boss special ability? What the heck is that? Every 80 seconds stops movement and attacks for all your, my units on the battlefield. No. no. He's going that way. He's going to try and take those down. I'm worried about... Why, why don't we go back here? Take out him. Darn it. I can't even attack. You go here, please. Go like this. And executioner on this guy. Wait, that won't kill it. But it would kill that. But I can do that. Wait, hold on. So that's 30 and 35 is more than that will take. So that should take him down. Oh, did that attack? Did that, oh, did that hit me too? I did not know that would happen. I need the weapons. I need your weapons gone, man. Oh, gosh. That's bad. Okay, so I'm through two of the three bars here 
And I need another I need another thing out there. I need something. Somebody help me. Okay, no, you're good here. You can you come around and attack stuff? Oh no, what are you doing? That's not cool. You're not allowed to do that. I'm gonna lose another squadron here. Here they go. Okay, I can take this guy down. Oh wait, why don't I go ahead against the hull, actually? That was, okay, that was okay. We're now going to throw in, we're throwing everything we've got here. This is intense and I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to throw in the scrapper. I'm gonna throw you guys in here. Resists. Take him down, boy. Weapons ready to fire. Um, can I go ahead and do this one? Oh, it did. It attacked. Oh, it does attack me. That's so rude. No, just attack it. Oh, no. I just killed my own guys. I literally just killed my own guys. Units under attack. My weapon's ready. Their weapon's ready. I gotta attack this. Get some more heat if I can. Okay, here we go. Let's throw down my boomer. So that'll give me something when it dies. <laughs> Come on over. Come on over. Take him down. Take him down. Now I need something else in here. We'll go with the... I'm going to go ahead with my ghost, even though it's patched. Hopefully be able to get in and around him. Why? I feel like they're not attacking. Maybe I should stop focusing on there and just go and attack them. And then you... You hang out. Now go attack. Take him down. Oh, okay, you gotta take them down too. You gotta help him. Seriously, that was rough. I need to executioner somebody. Oh, and it's been 80 seconds. Of course it has. How are you able to heal? Like... That's annoying. Okay, just attack him, please. Just attack him and take him down. I did it! So, you think you're going to... I can't believe I did it! Yes! <laughs> think you're going to save the Empire, do you? You're not going to save anything. All will still die in his clusters, I assure you. Why? Why did you shut down the Omnis, Xenon? Despite what you believe, I didn't. But you had a motive. Look at how your power has grown. Yes, well, that power has been most unexpected. What do you mean? When the shutdown occurred, I did not know what would happen. I feared the end of the church and a singularity, and the end of myself as its pope, so I adapted. I had to. It was that or lose my position and become like everyone else. Luckily, my disciples believed I was the prophet I claimed to be. They believed the Omnis shut down because we had not worshipped them well enough. Why did they believe what was so obviously a lie? Because the truth, which was that their gods had shut down and would never turn on again, that their gods were in fact not gods, were too painful. They turned to make-believe, to fantasy, and I was happy to provide that for them. No, Admiral, I did not shut down the machines, contrary to what you've heard. But then why have you hunted our ship in your sectors? You are a naive one, aren't you? The preservation of power of a kingdom. It's been nice not having Oberon breathing down my neck these last 20 years. Then if you didn't do it, who or what did? Let me ask you something, Admiral. Who had the most to gain from messing with Oberon's machines? Hmm? Who was it who hated, hated Oberon the most? I'll tell you, House Akabara Sung and House Kosh Buendia. No one despised Oberon more than them. But why did they hate him? Because the old man had them under his thumb for centuries. They dreamed of becoming as rich and powerful as House Telos, but they never could. He would never let them. Your culprit is one of them, Admiral, I'm certain. What do you want to know now, Imperial? Uh, anyway. Tell me about the relationship the church had with Oberon. The relationship? Yes. 
Your emperor founded the church, Admiral. That was the relationship. You lie. Then why lie when I am so close to death? Oberon created a religion to cement the importance and per permanence of the Omnis in his empire. But why keep that a secret? To help with the illusion that the machines truly were gods, and not just the invention of a machine invented by a man, which is what they are. Oberon needed people to not press escape when he asked them not to. That were holy things so as to not question the world, an empire, a galaxy revolving around their existence, and to secure his place in the center of that empire as its immovable emperor. What do you want to know now, Imperial? Do you, did you ever believe the Omnis were gods, or was your belief always a lie? Yes, when I was a young man. The Omnis were the reason I left my home planet and joined the clergy. My parents were aristocrats in House Telos, a, with a couple Omnis of their own. And everybody wants to be a crap. I found that so much of you, who you are as a young person is merely an act of rebellion against your parents. They despised the church, so I loved it. Unfortunately, at about the time I started to lose my faith, I developed an insatiable hunger for power. By then, my only chance to satisfy my appetite was to rise within the ranks of the church, so I did, quickly. My greed and enjoyment of that greed far outweighing any moral unrest that I had, which, truth be told, was probably very little to begin with. Yes, Admiral, for a time I did believe, but that was a long time ago. What does he know about me? Do you know anything about me, Xenon? Only that you are Oberon's best admiral and that you died on Ganima vitrifying the survivalists. Of course, now I can see that I was mistaken. I suppose this was just another ruse by the old man to keep his best weapon hidden. But why do you ask, Admiral? Ah, you have a touch of egomania in you too, I can see. Careful. What do you want to know now? Nothing. Get out of my face. The time has come to surrender, Xenon. Do so and your life will be spared, I promise you. Be that as it may, Admiral, I have no intent on surrendering. To be honest, I don't really see the point. What do you mean? I am dying. We all are here in these sectors. The rich, the poor, the believing, the non-believing. I would imagine it's the same in all the clusters. Without active Omnis, we're doomed. We have 10, 15 years at most. I'd prefer to die now than spend that time in an Imperial Brig, no matter how spacious it may be. Sorry, Admiral, you'll have to finish what you started. Skadoosh. I can do that. I'll drink to that. Oh boy. Big boom. Big boom. I'm glad we won, don't get me wrong, but I kind of have mixed feelings about defeating the Pope of a religion that thinks I'm a god. You know what I mean, Admiral? I'm... I'm not even going to answer that. <laughs> so, do you believe what Xenon said? That the Church of the Singularity didn't shut down the Omnis after all? I do, Machine. Xenon had no reason to lie with his death so near. No, I believe he was telling us the truth. So we've eliminated another suspect, but now we have two more to add to the list. House Akipara Sung and House Kashpoendia. That's right. It would seem that one of these great houses shut down the Omnis, but which one? Xenon mentioned... Uh, so did Vaughn, the Imperial Fleet Venerator. Do you believe these houses may have had something to do with the shutdown machine? The great houses, and next to House Telos, the most powerful in all of the Empire. They have existed since the dawn of the Empire, 700 years ago. But it seems they never had enough power, not for their taste anyway. No, it's not unlikely they had something to do with all of this, Admiral. Jealousy and greed are highly motiv motivating factors. Among humans, that is. I might have other questions for you. Let's hear about these two. This must be the one we're going to next, I'm assuming. I'm just going to kind of skim through it. It's getting a little long in the lesson here. So, uh, the wealthiest in all the clusters, additional omni... Traditional omni-related uh, biological and chemical engineering, why, is a way to try and compete with House Telos, which, because of the positronic chip quota, had a large advantage. Bio and chem engineering also played a significant part in their culture, and they used it to better their intelligence and beauty, though their standards, especially for beauty, may be considered different from House Telos's. What else can you tell me about the Akis? The Akis, although also a means to, as a means to add the considerable fortune, have resorted to less legal means of commerce. Ah, I see. In the past, quite a bit of breaking the law. They frequently engage quest practices, extortion, gambling, 
So they're they're the mafia, basically. The Akis are the mafia. Why didn't Oberon stop them? I believe he tried. Not even Emperor Oberon has the resources to completely stop them. The galaxy is too large. Uh, we know about this stuff, so I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm done learning about this for now. So yourself, Admiral. Might have other questions. So try did that one. Uh, let's go ahead and do another one. I thought about what maybe Vaughn said. Me and the original Idaho's death may trigger something, anything. I'm still not remembering any of my emotional memories. I've said before, be patient. I feel like there's something going on here. It's very important. So you never heard that story about the original Idaho's death? Not once. Nor do I know the biographical information of my clones. I assume O'Brien didn't want me to know. I mean, but yeah, but at the same time, like, I, it's, there's something going on here. I just, I don't trust this, this Omni. I think it's healthy to examine the past. Don't think it's healthy. He obviously doesn't want us to know stuff. Um, immortality. Yeah, I think that's good. I, I think we're good on enough, enough chit-chat. The time has come to push on, machine. But who do we investigate first? House Akibara Sung or Kosh Buendia? At this time, they seem equally guilty. Based on my knowledge of the folder hub map, it will take us less time to travel to the Aki cluster. Why don't we start there? Then it's settled. We leave as soon as we possibly can for the Aki cluster. The fate of the Empire depends on it. Awesome. And I'm just going to take a second to enjoy this cutscene. I love this. That's cool. Reminds me a little bit of the Xenon ships in X2. The game X, just X2, not the movie. You know, it's different. All right, very cool. We're going through. Oh, that was nifty. Skadoosh. We've got a Jericho-class battleship for getting to the third sector. It's now be avail available on startup. Chapter 2 completed. I'm going to go ahead and return to that main menu. Sweet. Well, awesome. I'm really enjoying this game a lot. I love how... I, I do kind of wish you could keep going with the same setup you had before. Obviously, we're going to have to choose a new one for the new sector, or for the new uh, chapter. Chapter 3, The Man Who Sold the World. Oh, interesting. It sounds like the title of a very old, like, 1950s or 1960s, uh, uh, t uh, like, episodic TV show, like a Perry Mason kind of thing, although they did all the alliteration or a, uh, I don't even know. The Man Who Sold the World, almost like a Star Trek episode from the original series, too, something like that. Well, anyways, thank you so much for being here today. I hope that you enjoyed this as much as I did. I definitely enjoyed uh, finishing the sector. We got a lot of cool stuff going on and didn't get any new permanent things, but that's okay. Uh, we did get the new battleship class, but I mean, we didn't unlock the DNA of any more officers. Kind of a bummer. But we did beat it, and we didn't die. So, I mean, I'm taking my wins where I can get them. Uh, if you haven't yet, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, please. That really helps out the channel and helps me to be able to produce additional content just like this. And uh, last but not least, as always, my pylons, uh, stay safe and be well. Except that not last but not least, because... The videos. I forgot about the videos. You gotta go check out the videos because they're videos and they're they're very videoy and it's lots of fun that way. Join us. Join us next week to check out uh, Sector Three One and have a wonderful, wonderful day.